The most powerful weapon in our game isn't necessarily a gun, it isn't a bomb, it isn't even your sledgehammer. It's your environment around you and your ability to destroy the world around you. You can bring a tower down on top of an enemy soldier, you can set up a trap on a bridge for an enemy convoy and then destroy it underneath them. It's the ability to turn the world into a parking lot on top of someone. If there's a whole compound of EDS soldiers, instead of rushing in and trying to take them out one by one, you can bring the whole building down on top of their heads. And Smash them all in one shot. If you want to jump a truck off a cliff into the second story of an office building because that's easier than fighting your way through the front door, go for it. You can actually use this wall or this building, blow it up in such a way that it cascades down onto a tank and destroying that tank. Our destruction really has impact on you and the environment and it's meaningful. The missions in Red Faction Guerrilla are set up so that we can allow the player to have all sorts of destructive experiences, blow up vehicles inside a building, use the construction walker to take down entire barracks of EDF, things like that. We're trying to get the player introduced to this whole new idea of destruction and being able to bring down buildings, create your own cover with buildings that are there, and use it against the bad guys and defensively for yourself. You have to use the destructive environment to your advantage to fight the EDF. You can't just run out there and start shooting. You'll probably lose pretty quickly. As a guerrilla, you're setting up ambushes. You're placing remote charges on these walls. And as the patrol comes by, you're detonating it, letting the debris fly out, knock these guys down, and then you can run in there and take them out. 